Niakam Gatwich, who is now based in Minnesota, in March an Uber driver had asked her whether she would bleach her skin for $10,000. The model, who has 325,000 followers on, has become an advocate for self-acceptance and against discrimination, based on skin color. In a new interview, she how her classmates ruthlessly bullied her because they found her complexion too dark some said they couldn't see her, others would taunt her by telling her she needed to take more showers. As a teen, Gatwich would cry herself to sleep. But now, the model says negative comments don't affect her as much, and she sometimes manages to laugh at them a stunning Sudanese model who became a fashion icon after moving to the US from a refugee camp, has detailed the cruel bullying she faced growing up, at the hand of classmates who thought her skin was too black. Niakam Gatwich, based in Minnesota, in March this year that an Uber driver had once asked her whether she would bleach her skin if she were given $10,000 in exchange. The anecdote resonated with her social media followers she now has 325,000 on and Gatwich, 24, has become a vocal advocate for self-acceptance, who often speaks out against discrimination based on skin, color. Before Gatwich moved to the U.S. age at 14, she lived in two different refugee camps in Ethiopia and Kenya, after her family had to flee war-torn Sudan. My mother fled before I was even born, because there was a war. Soldiers would come and shoot the whole, village, machine gun everybody down, she told Cosmopolitan in a new interview. She had to make her way with her children on foot to Ethiopia, and she lost my older sister, she passed, away along the way. We were there until the UN left that camp. After that, we moved to a refugee camp, in Kenya, where finally we were accepted into the United States. The model expected America to be like heaven after sleeping in the refugee camp's tents and not having safe access to food and water, but faced ruthless bullying as she settled into her new country. Recounting her classmates' taunt, she said, they would say, you know, I'm too black, my skin is too dark. They'd be like, you don't take showers. That's why your skin is dirt. Or, Smile so we can see, you, Nyakam. We can't see you. And then, in class, for example, the teacher would ask a question and say, Oh, Nyakam, can you answer, that? A kid would say, Who are you talking to? We can't see her. She's not here. The whole class would, start laughing, and I would just cry. The teenager, who was in the process of learning English, also struggled with the language barrier. She kept to herself and thought she would never make it as a model, because she didn't look like other people in magazines, on television, or online. When her family moved to Minnesota the following year, the comments regarding her skin color continued. I'd walk into the grocery store, and people would stare at me. I could hear people saying under their breath, Oh my God, she's so black. Is that even normal? She said. 
in an attempt to make friends Gatwich joined a track and field team, but ended up quitting after her, teammates wondered out loud whether they would be able to see her clearly enough to give her the relay, stick. The bullying took such a toll on the future model that she considered bleaching her skin, but her sister, who went through the treatment herself, talked her out of it. She said, you would not just be bleaching your skin, you would be bleaching your mind. I did it and, I regret it. I'm not going to let my daughter do it, or you nobody, the model recounted. Now, Gatwich finds ignorant remarks easier to handle. When the Uber driver asked her whether she'd bleach her skin for 10 grand, she laughed and asked him why he thought she ought to change her appearance. The driver was convinced the model would have an easier time landing jobs and finding a partner if her skin was lighter, to which Gatwich replied, even if being lighter would make my life easier, I'd rather take the hard road. The negative reactions or comments don't affect me as much now some of them I laugh at. But there are some that go deep and bring me down for a little bit, she added in her latest interview. Some people say I get followers because people feel bad for me, not because I'm actually beautiful. They say I'm the dumbest person ever. But there are millions more people who think I'm beautiful and give me positive feedback. The model has also inspired others to love themselves, including a young girl who told her she is now proud to be the darkest girl in the room. I never imagined that somebody would feel like they've accepted who they are and love who they are, because of something I did, Gatwitch said. That's my main goal, if loving myself and talking about it, is helping people, I want to keep doing that. That's important. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.